Hi everyone, I'm Mukesh from FPOS New Zealand and I'm here today with Chief Executive of Retail NZ, Greg Hufford, to talk about our new Android FPOS devices. Thanks for joining me today, Greg, and welcome to FPOS HQ. Thanks for having me, it's great to be here. So this is where the innovation happens, this is where you work on the latest payment solutions. Yep, just through those doors over there, this is where the magic happens, this is where we create all our new products, including the ones we're going to talk about today. Fantastic. So, so what have we got here with us today? So we've released two Android device devices into market. The first one being the Carbon Mobile 5, which we launched last year, mid-2020. And earlier this year, we released the T650P, which is the one over here. Um, you're in for a treat. I'm going to let you unbox that, actually. Oh, fantastic. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Almost. So I open it up, um, so what have we got? We've got a, a quick start guide here, so it presumably tells us everything we need to know about it. Yeah, so this is really good. This will tell you how to set it up, um, how to connect it to the internet. Um, if you need to order new paper rolls, and there's actually a paper roll in there, you'll get that in a minute. But yep, that's how to, nice and easy, how to set it up. Uh, we've got a cleaning cloth for the terminal. So these are relatively new. We um, During COVID, uh, one of the things that kept our bus business really busy was uh, calls coming in from merchants saying, how do we clean our terminal? Terminals. And so we started adding microfiber cloths there. This um, helps you clean your terminal, keeping it nice and sterile for uh, for your customers. Fantastic. Uh, we've got uh, the terminal itself, presumably. The terminal itself, indeed. Yep. So this is what holds all the uh, the processing power to take transactions. Magnificent. And then we've got uh, the base of the unit. This is the base. So this sits on that. So. The base helps it charge, and there's also on the back over here some communication ports. Right, and then also in the box here we've got a roll of uh, thermal paper, is it? Thermal paper, yep, absolutely, that's right. Got what looks like an Ethernet cable to presumably connect the device to the, the phone. From line. your base to your LAN, yep, yep. Um, to, your, to, your, to your port, that's right, you got it. And a power cable. And a power cable. <coughs> Put that over there. So, so, so Carry on, you sorry, you you're yeah. Nice. So so um, looks really cool, really shiny, um, <laughs> nice nice styling there. But uh, what do, what do retailers or, or indeed anyone else who wants to take payments need to do to set the device up? You look three really easy steps actually. So once uh, the terminal's delivered to you by courier, um, it's very much turn on the terminal, connect the terminal to the internet, set up the passcodes, and you're ready to transact. Fantastic. So uh, and and if someone needs help, what do, what do they do? Absolutely. So there, once again, you've got the quick start guide. In the quick start guide, there's actually a QR code which you can scan. Will take you to a full user guide on our web web page. Um, also, uh, you can call 0800 FPOS if you want to talk to a human, and you'll get one of our uh, one of our team, and they'll talk you through how to use it. So yeah, really, really straightforward. We're trying to keep this as simple as possible. Really simple. I reckon we should actually do a transaction. What do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Let's okay, well, go. I'm going to let you drive this actually. So here's the <coughs> terminal. Power button on the on the left hand side. Oh, yep, here we go. So just push the button. Ah, oh, there we go. Absolutely. So we'll take that back to the home page. There we go. All right, and we'll get rid of that one as well. So look, how about we do a test transaction? So uh -huh. let's do a dollar. All right. So put a dollar in. You and push purchase. purchase. Yep. Okay. I'm going to use my card. Thanks for keeping it to a dollar. That's very kind of you. Tap. Easy. easy, absolutely easy. Okay, so oh. this is really interesting. Um, multiple so, options. Yeah, so it's saying here, would, 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 would the customer like a receipt? And I can print it or email it or do both. Is that yeah, right? so email's quite a cool feature. So um, carbon footprint and all those good things, we can actually now email the receipt to that user so or that card holder. Uh, we're going to press no thanks this, on this one. And we're done. And we're just back to the screen. And we're back to the screen. Transaction. Absolutely. Fantastic. How easy is that? That's, that's really easy. So um, what if we need to do a refund though? Refund. Almost as easy. Um, so to do a refund, I'll get you to t I'll talk you through this as well. So we push the what we call the hamburger menu. The hamburger menu. That's those three that lines button. at the yep. top there. Absolutely. I need to push it again. So we'll just try that again. My fingers aren't quite there. There we go. Okay. Uh, so this is really cool. This is a really nifty feature. What I'm going to get you to do is actually search for my transaction. So if you click search order. Search orders. Okay, and then what, click that card button. Sorry, that card button. What I'm going to do now is tap this. Oh, so it's going to search for transactions on this card. The transaction we just did a minute ago has appeared there for a dollar. 
Okay. Right. So awesome. what would you call it? It's a match refund. Yeah. That, that's really easy because it means you're not you're not tracking through trying to find evidence Look, that the transaction Absolutely. Happened. So then it tells you when the transaction happened, how much it was for against the card that it happened against. Cool. Well, I'll get you to so push that button. Push that button. And then we go, oh, yeah. so I can print a receipt from here or refund it. Absolutely. So we'll do I'll the refund. I'll get you to push refund. Right. Over here we're going to look for, we can actually break it down on how much we want to refund, but I want my dollar back, so why don't I get you to push full. So full refund. Okay, and then we can actually enter a little note around why we're refunding it, but we'll just go none for now. Okay, and submit. And submit. At this point, it's going to ask for a manager code, which I'll do myself. I'll get you to press enter. Right, we're refunding a dollar. Okay, so are we refunding to the card or mobile? We're gonna select card or mobile there. So if I get you to push that, because we're gonna refund back onto my card. card. I'm tapping my card. It's asking me for my pin, but we, uh, oh, absolutely no, it's actually asking for the amount. So we're gonna put a dollar, oh, yep. go enter. Approved. Done. So that's gone through, that's and it. again, I can print or email a receipt. Absolutely, but we'll go no thanks to that. Easy. How cool is that? That's really good. It's good. My money back. Thank you very much for that. No problems. So uh, you mentioned passcodes earlier, though. Uh, what 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 were we doing with passcodes? What were they for? Well, a passcode is a security feature. Um, it's about making sure that refunds actually match what they're meant to be done for. So making sure that people don't uh, mistakenly refund. So there's a managerial uh, refund passcode and there's a cashier refund passcode. So you can set different limits to that, but really much it is a security feature. So obviously this, this device is a little bit different to some of the other devices that are in the market, but tell me about the new features of it. What, what makes it different? Well, I think the first thing is that it's striking, right? It looks great. Um, there's also a keyless pin pad, which makes it easier to clean, which refers, you know, making reference back to the whole COVID situation. There are huge buttons, making it easy to use. Uh, enhanced refunds, um, which we'll talk about a little bit later. It's compliant until 2029. It's like using a smartphone. Do you have a smartphone? The of answer course. is yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who doesn't, right? So it's like using a smartphone. It's really, really easy to use. Um, there's a long battery life. Um, there's also advanced transaction lists, the e-receipts, which we just talked about before, and something called custom merchant reference. Right. So what's the customer merchant reference? So on terminals of, of days gone by, you wouldn't be able to put a little notation against a transaction. With Android, you can. So pretend I'm an electrician, I've come to your house and I'm trying to fix an oven and I'm going to take a dollar transaction and I actually can put a notation against it saying oven, which just makes it easier as the merchant to find that transaction a little bit later down the track. So let's do one, shall we? Yeah, sure. Um, we'll enter a dollar amount, keep it nice and easy. Another okay, dollar. and now what we're going to do is actually push the customer merchant button. Um, so if I get you to push the bag tag button over there. It's that arrow at the top there. Absolutely, cool. Mm. Okay, and we just add a reference. Add so reference. Just How intuitive right, is that? Right oven, that's really easy to understand. And presumably you could do a customer number or a phone number or a name or anything else. Anything you that you like, pretty much, absolutely. Right, cool. So I'm going to do the purchase. going to do the purchase. Right, I'm the happy customer with my oven fixed. I go tap. And it'd be great if lots of tradies took payments by FBS on, on, the, on, the, on the day. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so again, we've got the receipt screen here. No, we don't no, need a receipt. Go, no, thank you. Cool, no, a few hours then. have passed, and you know what? I actually want you to refund me because I'm not happy with the way the oven's been fixed. So now you've got to go and find that transaction, okay? So if I get you to press the hamburger menu, advanced, right, advanced search. search. Right, okay, now this is where we find the text. If I get to push reference, Okay, and there's a whole lot of things you can search here, but reference One of the easier ones, easy, right? Easy Absolutely, one nice and easy to remember. And I type oven in here as we go. Okay, and I'll just get you to tick, tick. push the tick button on that one as well. So this will search any, any transaction with the word oven in it, right? Absolutely, so what's it's gonna do, it's gonna find the order that, the purchase that we did just before. Right, that's the first one there on the top there, if we push that, you'll actually find the word oven next to it. Awesome. So okay. really easy to track. Really, really easy. Really easy to find what you're looking for. All right. So you've actually got receipt. Uh, you've got two options there as well. You can actually see receipt or refund. Okay. So I don't need to be there for you to, to do your refund. You just go refund. Okay. I want a full refund. 
Right, now you can actually put a note against it. We're not going to do that. You could probably write customer not happy or whatever the, um, and hit submit. Okay, uh, it's gonna ask for a, uh, a passcode here, which is something that I know. I'll get you to turn around and look at this on that. Okay, thank you very much. All right, I've done that bit. If, it hit, if you hit enter, Okay. So that's done and the customer doesn't need to be there with their card to get that refund. Push Absolutely. Through. So I'll get you to push card or mobile. That easy. And I need to tap my card. Okay. And we'll uh, enter. You're going to bypass that. And we're done. Easy. Okay. How good Again, is that? I can print a receipt. You can print a receipt, absolutely. And what makes this device, and it's a very cool Swish device, but what <laughs> makes it different from any other device? Thank you, by the way. Um, well, if you think about it, FPOS devices have pretty much been the same for the last 15 to 20 years. Um, they, yes, they're a little bit smaller um, and they're a little bit faster. They're effective, they're secure, and they process cards. But they're using the same software. The same software that you used of 2020, it was used in 1990. So the only thing that's changed is the business landscape and the payments landscape. There's emerging technologies um, and emerging technologies need their payment provider to, to keep up with them. And so, and that's what this is, the Android terminal, keeping up with our, the emerging card payment technologies. Okay. And, and this will take not just cards, but also phone payments, so Apple phone Pay, Google Pay, anything like that. If I was wearing my watch, I'd be able to tap my watch on it and absolutely and do that payment as well, but I don't. But yeah, absolutely, it does all of those things as well. Cool, so uh, what's next then for payments? I mean, this is, this is awesome, it's a, it's a step forward, but what, what's coming up? Yeah, well, it's quite a good question because uh, we're in store right now. We, we do your in-store purchases, but as I've mentioned, you know, the landscape's changing around businesses. Um, we also find it that we're trying to, uh, we have technology that's going to allow us to take uh, transactions online. So we're about to go live with our e-commerce uh, platform, um, which will allow merchants to bolt on payments onto their, their current website. And we also have a product called Virtual Terminal. Um, what Virtual Terminal is, is the ability to take a payment um, over the phone via a secure portal um, and not actually have to have a physical FPOS terminal. Cool. Well, we'll look forward to that as it comes. But in the meantime, um, if a retailer or a tradie needs to get their hands on one of these devices, how do they do it? Where do they get one from? Well, they can, first of all, they can call 0800 FPOS New, uh, FPOS New Zealand, which is 0800 338 767. Or alternatively, they can log online and go to our website, fpos.co.nz, uh, uh, and it's very intuitive. You'll see a big symbol that says Android, follow that, and someone in our help desk or support team will, will get back to you. Fantastic. Hey Greg, hey, thank you for, for joining us today, I appreciate it, it's very cool to have a chat with you. Um, I hope you like that, um, looking forward to putting a lot of these out in the market. Absolutely, and I imagine they'll be popping up pretty quickly in stores, so thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers.